Hi everyone. So first you're going to need to download Google Slides from either the App Store or the Android Market, whatever kind of phone you have. And once you have it, you should be able to log in and then see different presentations that are assigned to your account. So this is the Signs of Spring one, for example, that's under the Science tab in our classroom is one of the activities you can do. Um, you open it up and you can kind of click around. You can see like if you're on here, you can click into an image. If you click right into your camera, you should be able to take a photo right there. You're going to have to set up permissions first though. So you can see I'm trying, it says it doesn't have permissions, which means you just need to go back into the settings of your phone and add permissions. I thought it was in here. You can see me monkey, monkeying it around trying to find it. Um, but you do have to go into your phone settings and then make sure that Google Slides has permission to access your camera. So once you get in here and switch your camera setting to on so it has permission, you can go back into slides, back into the presentation or slideshow that you're working on. And then you should be able to both access photos you've taken on your camera on your phone, and also you should be able to access your camera directly. So if you go to a slide that you're working on, like I'm going to navigate right back to it now, you click the little plus sign up at the top, go down to image, you can do right from your camera and then it'll take you to your camera and you can take a picture of whatever it is you're looking at. So I was looking for signs of spring. I found all these blood casings on my deck, so I decided to take a picture of those. So you just click it, say yes, you can access the photos, and then it should just pop right into your slideshow. And then you can resize it. You can add more photos if you want. You can do it on the same slide, so I'm going to add another one. and then it'll pop right into your thing. Again, you can resize, reposition if you want. And then to type into a text box, you need to double tap within the box. If you click delete, it will delete the whole box. And you don't want to do that. You can always just hit the undo arrow up at the top. But click, double click inside the box, and then your keyboard should pop up. And then you can backspace, delete anything that you want to delete from there, and start entering your own text in. So you can see what I wrote. When you finish typing whatever it is you're typing inside the text box, all you need to do is hit the little check mark at the top left of the screen. And that'll exit out of your text box and everything is automatically saved and you're good to go.